So, oops, I'm just dropping everything today. So I've got salmon. I went to, you can go to your grocery store, your fishmonger. Um, to be honest, I went to Trader Joe's yesterday. They're, their stuff uh, moves so quickly, it tends to be super fresh. Um, so what we have here, and I know it's a little messy, we're gonna do this in two little steps. So this is gonna be salmon, as I said, with yellow peppers and um, sugar snap peas. So the sugar snap peas, I cut the ends, so I rinsed them, I cut the ends off of them. And this is a medium yellow onion that I sliced very thinly. Okay, and I cut those all up. Huh? Pepper. Did I say onion? I'm sorry, pepper. I didn't mean onion. Pepper. So what we're gonna do if I get my next recipe. Okay, so this is about um, this is about three quarters of a pound of salmon, as I said, and I cut them in half. And um, what we're gonna do is do the the veggies first. It's just a little marinade, okay. Um, can't forget the wine. Um, it's a little early, so we're not going to have a little drink right now. But uh, you want to have wine that you're that you'd like to drink, okay? It, um, but, uh, I always have Pinot Grigio on hand, so it's two tablespoons of wine, and you can eyeball it, and then a tablespoon of olive oil. Once again, I eyeball it, but I'll do this the right way, just so that you can see. And then we've got some salt and pepper. It's a quarter teaspoon of salt, which is really like a pinch. And then pepper, very simple. So we're just going to mix that up a little bit and put our vegetables in here. Very simple. It's so pretty. The yellow and the green reminds me of spring. If you don't have the yellow pepper or if you don't like yellow pepper, you can use red or green. But I think the yellow um, is super sweet and um, the, the sugar snap peas are nice and crunchy. They'll hold their crunch with this. So I, I recommend if you're going shopping to, uh, to use that. Okay, so we're gonna put that to the side for a minute. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take or parchment paper. Why do we use parchment paper? Because this actually, you're, you're kind of steaming it in parchment paper. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put our fish and our vegetables in this, and then we're going to fold it up. Um, since we're, um, we've got wine in here, we're also going to be putting some lemon zest in here. Where's my lemon? I think it's over there. Um, you want to use parchment paper over foil. You can use foil instead of parchment paper, but parchment is better. There might be a little reaction with the foil. The fish might stick to it. This is just, believe it or not, a lot easier to do. So we're just going to put, we're going to fold it in half. We're going to put a piece of fish on one side. Okay. And then we're going to put the vegetables on top of this, wait a second, I'm forgetting something. No, I'm not, I am forgetting something. Sorry about that. Um, then we're gonna do, a, a, sorry, we're gonna do another mixture of marinade that we're gonna put on top of the fish and then we're gonna put the veggies on top. I didn't wanna forget that one. So let me go get a cup to do this in. Lemon dough. I lost my lemon. Sorry. Oh. Get another lemon out because I lost my lemon. <sighs> okay. So we're going to do a couple more teaspoons of wine. A little bit. Oh, here's my lemon. It's over there. Okay. A little bit of oil. I'm going to put some lemon zest. So lemon zest is just, you're taking the, le the lemon off of a lemon, right? And you don't want to get to the white. So I've got this microplane, but if you've got a grater, that's fine too. Um, 
I have found that you don't want to use too much. This recipe calls for a half a tablespoon. I did that the last time. It was pretty lemony, so I'm just going to go around this lemon once. Okay, and add it. Because for me, that's enough. But if you like it, soup, you know, very lemony, feel free to add more. Oops. And then we're going to add a little bit more salt and a little bit of pepper. I like oregano, I'm a big fan of oregano. So you can put about a half a teaspoon in. And I'm gonna stir that up. We're gonna add half of this to this piece of fish. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the vegetables on top. Look how pretty that looks already. And then if you have it, some fresh thyme, just throw the sprig right on top. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this all up. Looks like you're wrapping a present. Like a taco, right? And we're gonna do the same thing with the other piece. If you only want to make this for one, that's fine. If you want to make this for four, that's fine too, right? Uh, just as much fish as you want. And then, as I said, if you're going to make more than two pieces, then just make a little bit more of this marinade and you'll have the directions, right? Because I'm going to mail them to you. I'm going to email them to you. Once again, you're going to put this little marinade right there. We're going to take our vegetables. And if you cut too much, that's okay because you can eat them. A little sprig. And this one, I'm gonna put a little hot pepper on it. I'm a fan of hot pepper. Gonna do one with hot and one without. Just gonna put a little bit more of that there. And I have a lot of leftover veggies. So you don't, you know, this was one, um, one, one pepper. Maybe use a small one, you know, it's up, it's up to you. The leftover pepper, you can eat with a salad or you can put it in with the, um, the rice. So this is all ready to go. And this is gonna be, I preheated my oven for 400 degrees. And believe it or not, this is gonna be done in about 15 minutes. So we're gonna have a really good dinner. So I'm gonna pop this in here. Keep an eye on it. So, all right, so this stuff, you see how fast this went? Right now we have a cookie in the oven and we've got salmon already. Crazy, right? Very, very simple, because you know, I do not like doing anything difficult. Not at all. So let me put all this stuff to the side. And we are just racing through this. All of this over here. So let me move some of this stuff out of the way. Give myself some room. Um, and I also have a, another recipe that if I get through this really quickly, we'll have a special surprise for the fourth one. And I think I actually might be able to get to the fourth one. So um, 